Welcome back to Burn Peak. I'm Seth, and this year we did something a little bit different, but kind of the same. Ugh. Okay, just don't get on my microphone and we're cool. So this year was not only big for everybody, but it was also big for me personally. I started off the year not being able to walk and through a series of surgeries, I recovered. Also became a dad this year and that has turned my life upside down in a very good way. Many of these changes have bled through to the content on the channel. Some in interesting ways, some in bad ways, and some in good ways. In any case, we had a lot of very memorable moments this year. For one, we began work on Berm Park, and we've all but completed it. We just need to wait for it to open in the spring. Berm Park is, of course, the free public bike park that we are funding here on this channel, through Patreon, through this audience, and through sponsors connected to the channel. Berm Park features progressive jump lines from beginner through advanced, big wooden features, and a really intuitive layout. So part of the story for 2022 is actually opening Berm Park and getting to see everybody ride it. But this year we also opened the Berm Peak Ranger Station, a vacation rental just for mountain bikers themed from this channel. It features a location really close to mountain bike trails, a bike wash station, a secure bike lockup, a workshop, and all the amenities and luxuries you could ever want during a nice trip going mountain biking with your family or friends. Now if you've checked our bookings, the Ranger Station has been a massive success. The place is booked out constantly. We're getting tremendously good feedback from guests. And I'm really thinking about opening up another one. Just recently, Kevin and I built a micro crawler course there for days where you can't ride or you wanna kick back and relax at the house. And RC cars have become a significant part of our content lately. Now that started as a way for me to make videos while I was injured, but it has remained some. I of course tricked most of the audience into thinking I got a real Sherp, and it ended up being an RC Sherp that was extremely realistic. We promptly damaged that. Ooh! Oh my god. This is one of the sickest things I've ever owned, and it, now it's... It's a victim of me. We also got to test out the SCX-6, a six-scale crawler. The thing is gigantic. We were able to tow the Gator, the plate tamp, Kevin and I, and even my wife's SUV. <laughs> and of course, I was also able to just sit on the top of it and ride it around the backyard. So although it wasn't bike content, I think we did it in true Berm Peak fashion. And that type of messing around we also do with bikes because this year we made the Beagle gear. I finally went out and had a 74 tooth rear cog machined for me. It only cost like 120 bucks and we were able to put that on the back of a bike and have pretty much the lowest gear in existence. You had to pedal so fast on the Beagle gear that you could barely even keep the bike up. <laughs> <laughs> and with the right operator behind the bars, it was able to tow a 6,000 pound Jeep. It's about twice the towing capacity of the SCX-6. So the Beagle gear is definitely going to become a classic. It is now hanging in the Ranger Station on display. In the spring, we also began building Thumb Bucket Trail, what some might call the first proper trail here on Burn Peak. It's gonna run from the flight deck all the way to the bottom of the property. And actually we only have one more thumb bucket video before the trail is completely linked up. Now the major difference between thumb bucket and the other trails is that we started building it with a machine, a machine with a thumb bucket, hence the name. Now we have a tilt coupler. I'm not gonna rename the trail tilt coupler, but it's still a thumb bucket. We're still gonna build it with a machine. We're gonna mix in hand building, wood building. Even when we're done linking it all together, there will still be a lot of videos on thumb bucket as we add features and enhance the trail. In the most recent thumb bucket video, we connected the wall ride to a wooden bridge that I probably should have banked a little bit more. I had muddy tires since we had just finished building, slid out and smashed my knee. I'm okay, but I'm gonna have to be more careful if I wanna continue making videos instead of sitting around injured.
Now, in order to build a lot of the stuff on Thumb Bucket Trail, we milled oak from the backyard. Now, we've been able to do that for some time with chainsaw mills. But this time, we found a bunch of dead trees, put them in the trailer, and brought them all down to a real sawmill. And we ended up with enough wood to last us almost the entire fall and the entire summer. With many more dead standing trees around Burn Peak, we're gonna be able to cut down additional timber and turn it into planks just like we did. That sawmill video remains one of our most popular videos. People really like the idea that you could take a raw material on your own property and actually build stuff with it. Also with me is Oscar. And as of New Year's, Oscar's about two years old, but I feel like this year he really came into his own. This is the year he really became a trail dog, started chasing us around. It became routine for Oscar to become part of the videos. And although his older brother Drama is no longer with us, he would be very proud of little Oscar. Now in addition to all these new projects and experimental content, we also started a new series called Flip Bike where we buy used bikes from real people around Asheville, fix them up, and then sell them for more. Now, of course, the purpose of the series is to make a profit, but the main goal is to really show what you can do to an inexpensive bike to increase the value. We've gotten nothing but really, really good feedback on Flip Bike, and it's gonna be a permanent series that we keep making more episodes of. The next one is coming up very soon. Now through this RC car content, and Berm Park, and the Berm Peak Ranger Station, and Flip Bike, and Thumb Bucket, We've had quite a few interesting moments that don't necessarily fit into any one category. So I hope you enjoyed some of our favorite moments from 2021. I think we would all agree that 2021 was a little bit better than 2020, although not by much. We're all starting to get used to living in this very strange world. I'm getting very used to being a dad. We have a ton to look forward to in 2022. Thumb Bucket Trail will be completed. Burn Park will be open. We have some top secret projects in the works that you're gonna find out about then. And I'm hoping that we can get back to doing a little bit of traveling. Anyway, I hope you come along with us in 2022. Thanks for riding with us this year, and I'll see you next year. I have here my micro crawler. It's actually really heavy. I'm wondering if the drone is strong enough to pick it up, okay? Oh, man! Oh! Okay, really smooth now. I can't even believe it's carrying that thing. I'm gonna get you on the flat area right there. Yeah, try and drive forwards. Ready? Ready? Hey, let's see if we can bring it down. Hey, it's easier than attaching a real receiver. <laughs> oh my God, it's hooked on, dude. <laughs> How sick is that? I just can't believe it's picking it up. We Never just straight military like airlifted that thing into battle. And we brought the drone back down safely and we brought my favorite little truck down safely. Man, I didn't even break it. You didn't even break it.